Welcome back everybody to Vibe Monthly Guzmans. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I am getting ready for work and this video is not going to be long because we just completed our fourth week in our $50 grocery week challenge. And um, so what I've been doing is I spend $70 like on the week that I get paid and then I've been spending $30 the week that I don't get paid. I'm not sure if I'll be continuing that for the month of August as far as that kind of split. I might try to get more close to the 50-50. We'll see. Um, I think it'll just depend on, you know, how uh, the sales are going. And it might also depend on what I actually need in my household. But at the end of the day, our overall goal is to spend no more than $200 a month for groceries and $60 a month on household needs. So as you can imagine, being that my grocery budget was only $30 uh, for the week, it's not gonna take long to get through this video. But I would love for you to stick around because I'm going to provide you with some links in the description box. And those links are going to provide you and your household with some deals that I'll be going after this week. Uh, so thank you so much to all of my new subscribers Welcome to the Bible with the Guzman family. And uh, we look forward to continuing this journey for the month of August. But uh, right now, let's go ahead and wrap up our week four totals and, um, you know, see where we ended for the month of July. Okay, everybody, here is my Walmart grocery haul. It is a very small haul, being that I only had $30 to work with for this week but i think i was able to get a nice variety of things and i'm so excited to show you what i got uh, of course i had to start it off with two gallons of milk i also picked up these two paper towels um, based on the reviews online these are really good quality and for like what 68 cents a roll um, I figured it was good to just grab them and put them like in my stockpile because I'm always gonna need paper towels, right? Uh, in my area, I could get this 10 pound bag of chicken leg quarters from Gold Leaf. This bag was only $6.72. And so I'm really excited to separate this into multiple meals and um, you know see what I can make out from that. We also needed to get some eggs, so I went ahead and I grabbed this 18 count of eggs. I don't know what is going on with the egg prices, but um, I did grab this. I go so far as to count like how many eggs we were going to need on a Saturday or Sunday. And that's usually about two to three eggs per person. Thankfully, my family, only three of us eats eggs. So usually the 18 count will last us a weekend and we'll be good to go. So next up, I did grab the um, Great Value Tater Tots. This was about $2 and change, almost $3 for the bag. I went ahead and I grabbed it because we love sticking this into the air fryer. So um, I just went ahead and grabbed it to put it in our um, you know, menu for the weekend. I did get the Great Value Apple Juice. Those two bottles are $2.84. Also got some ginger ale and that was only a dollar. I did pick up those Roma tomatoes and the cucumber that was like 64 cents. And here's the bread that my husband did donate the $2 to get. Um, I was thinking it was Cuban bread, but it was actually Italian loaf and it's really good. And it's on rollback now for a dollar coming from a dollar 47. So it truly is a great value to get. And uh, we love pressing this with some butter. All right guys, so what do you think? That wasn't too bad, right? Um, so let's go ahead and go over what that costs. So for week four, I did get a $2 donation. Thank you, husband. He gave me $2 to get that Cuban bread because he really wanted that Cuban bread. My husband gets a certain amount of money for lunch because he works out in the streets and he buys his lunch out, right? So um, that he gave me $2 out of his money for that. So he got the Cuban bread. So thank you so much, husband. Um, but what came out of our grocery budget was $25.96. So 
yes, I think that was uh, commendable and I did not go to the grocery store again for the remainder of the week. I wanted to because I knew that I had uh, some money to play with, but because I went over the previous week, I was at like what, 72, $73. I really didn't want to um, go and spend the rest of that money if I didn't have to. And I stuck it out. I, I, I was like, you know what, we're going to try to make this balance as much as possible. So I did not. So again, for the week for $25.96 and for my household, uh, those two paper towels cost $1.46. So that's where we ended up with for the week four. Now let's talk about our July totals overall. I think we did really, really good. I'm so pleased with myself because this is coming from somebody who would always be chasing after all these deals and while that's good we still got to keep our budget overall in mind right so for grocery i ended up spending out of pocket 228 dollars and 63 cents and for household we spent 60 dollars and 49 cents so we did go a bit above our grocery budget but um, that is something that I'm definitely gonna try to tighten up if I can, um, but I really don't think I did too bad. So there's the numbers for week four. Now, as I said earlier, I was going to go ahead and um, give you some details on some deals that are going on. So what I'm looking forward to this week when I go grocery shopping is to get some free milk and my household definitely needs some free milk. So I'm going to put a link in the description box below for a coupon that will get you milk, buy one, get one half off. Be sure to print as much as you're able to uh, of this coupon because it doesn't expire until October. So if you don't see any deals in your area now to make it free, then um, you know just hold on to it. And I'm sure that a, a sales ad or something like that will come up. But in my area, through Wednesday of uh, this week, we'll be able to get free milk because Publix has that same milk, buy one, get one free, and the coupon is buy one, get one free. So that makes uh, two half gallons of this milk completely free. So that's what I'm gonna be getting. And then there's a rebate for Nestle products. I'm going to put that link in the description box below because you have until August 11th to get $40 worth of Nestle products, but you have to look at their product list. So you get $40 and it has to all be on one receipt. You submit that to Nestle. I did this previously, and then they'll send you a $20 uh, Visa gift card. Now, and the Visa gift card is gonna be digital, um, so you won't be able to have a physical card mailed to you. What I did with the money is I put it towards a Sam's Club purchase. And that helped to reduce. Remember when I got that orange juice? That's how I was able to get the orange juice for like a dollar and change because I had that $20 uh, digital gift card. Um, I also had to get some, um, what was it? Like water softener salts or something. So that's where the other difference went. But anyway, um, that's how I was able to get my uh, juice for a dollar. So again, we are going to continue $80 a week for groceries and $60 for the month on household. So please be sure to stay tuned for month two, August, 2024, and see how we do. Thank you so much again for tuning into Bottling with the Goosebumps. I gotta get to work. So see you again next time. Peace.